Cants. Today we are going to talk about covers and saluting. We'll review how and when to wear your cover and how and when to salute. I'll go over the basics and leave the finer points to OCS as uh, usual. So a cover is part of a military uniform that goes on the wearer's head. Each of our current uniforms, uh, with the exception of the PT uniform, has a unique cover and some of our uniforms have more than one. There are also differences between some enlisted and officer covers and some male and female covers, though that may not be the case in the future. The first general rule to covers is this. Covers are worn outdoors, so if you're indoors, you should not be wearing a cover. The major exceptions to this rule that you'll encounter are uh, if you're under arms or standing duty or both. In these situations, you will wear your cover indoors and outdoors. Now, under arms has traditionally meant that you're carrying a weapon, uh, but over time, this term has come to include wearing a piece of equipment related to a weapon like a uh, sword sling or a pistol belt. Uh, in fact, you may hear of a pistol belt being referred to as a duty belt uh, when it's used for uh, standing duty. Another exception for wearing covers is eating. So when you are eating outdoors, you will take your cover off. And if you're eating indoors on duty, you will also take your uh, cover off. There are other smaller exceptions uh, to these rules that you'll learn about and discuss at OCS. Next, I'll walk you through the most common uniforms and their respective covers. So first up, we've got the Marine Corps Combat Utility Uniforms, also known as camis. Uh, with this uniform, you'll wear uh, an 8-point, a boonie, or a Kevlar in their respective uh, camouflage color. That's woodlands or deserts. Or you may wear a watch cap, which uh, comes really only in one style. Second, we've got our PT uniform. Now, this is any combination of green top or green bottom. Your PT uniform is known as uh, green on green. And I'll also include uh, boots and utes in this category. Boots and utes is basically your full uh, cami uniform, except you drop your cover and you drop your blouse, and it's used for certain uh, physical fitness events. Typically, you do not wear a cover while uh, partaking in PT. Uh, but in cold weather, a watch cap may be authorized, again, by the uh, proper authorities. Third is your service uniforms. Now, the service uniforms uh, come in three editions. The, you've got your Alphas, your Bravos, and your Charlies, uh, also known as Chucks. And you'll learn about when to wear each at uh, OCS. They do all use the same cover though, which is either the garrison cap, uh, colloquially known as the piss cutter, or the barracks cover. These two covers are interchangeable. You can wear both with the service alphas. It's really a matter of preference, but you'll find that the garrison cap is much more prevalent. This picture doesn't do the best job of depicting the service uniform variations but uh, you'll learn more about that at uh, OCS. And finally, we've got uh, our dress blues. Again, the dress blues come in four editions, alphas, bravos, charlies, and deltas. You'll learn about those differences at uh, OCS or maybe in a later video that I put together. Uh, but they do all use the same cover, which is the uh, dress blues cover or the white cover. There are some other covers that you might run into. The first is the campaign cover, which is worn by sergeant instructors and drill instructors. And also uh, you'll see on the range pith covers worn by uh, range coaches. When wearing a cover, use the uh, two finger rule. What I mean by that is take your pointer and middle fingers and just place them on your nose. Where that middle finger ends is where your cover should begin. So your covers should be tilted forward and they should also sit tightly towards the top of your head uh, and not down by your ears like a ball cap. Now I'll give you some tips for your eight point, which is the cover that you'll wear most frequently, probably in your Marine Corps career. Uh, first is that you wanna round out the bill. It comes to you nice and flat, but you wanna give it a good round edge. Just make sure not to break the plastic inside the bill, otherwise it'll give you a, a, a sharp point, which you don't want. Second, you want to iron out all the panels on the sides. You'll have opportunity to do that at uh, OCS before inspections. And then third, the 
eight point comes with uh, structural pockets here on the inside that you can insert either cardboard or plastic into. Uh, also, I do know of uh, like uh, rigid octagons that you can put actually inside here to give the whole thing a, a, a solid frame. Now, obviously, it's called the eight point because the top makes uh, the shape of an octagon. So, in case you didn't uh, make that connection. Finally, let's talk about saluting. So in the Marine Corps, the following applies. You only salute while wearing a cover. No cover, no salute. Second, you do not salute in the field and by extension while wearing field covers. So uh, these would be your Kevlars, your boonies, or your watch caps. Now there are some exceptions to this uh, based on the command. So you may see this happen, but as a general rule, in a field cover, you do not salute. Salutes are rendered in the following situations. A, you will salute senior officers when approaching or overtaking them, as well as giving them the proper greeting of the day. Now, you'll salute them regardless of what they're wearing, whether they're in a military uniform or in civilian clothes. If they aren't uh, wearing a cover, they should acknowledge the salute, but they should not return it. B, you will return salutes from enlisted personnel, warrant officers, and uh, when you're high enough in rank, junior officers. You salute second and cut your salute first. With regard to warrant officers and first lieutenants, you'll learn about the one bar rule at TBS. C, you will salute certain civilian and foreign authorities. I'll leave that discussion to OCS. D, if you are outdoors and covered, you should face and salute the American flag during morning and evening colors which are played at every Marine Corps post at 08 in the morning and around sundown in the evening. The flag is typically located by the headquarters building. If you are not covered, let's say you are in civilian attire, you should face the flag and come to the position of attention while Colors is playing. And if you're driving, you should stop until Colors has stopped playing. This rule doesn't apply if you are indoors even on duty. Outside of the playing of colors, uh, you do not salute the flag on a stationary flagpole when passing it. E, you will salute the national colors that are not cased. Here, the colors means a smaller American flag that is foot mobile. You'll see this most commonly at ceremonies like your graduation. There uh, will be a detachment of Marines uh, carrying the colors called the color guard. For an example of the color guard, see the link in the description box. F, you will salute during the playing of the national anthem. Salutes are not rendered in most other situations, including indoors, unless you are under arms or on duty, in the field, in civilian attire, with the exception of the national anthem, in a formation where you are not the unit leader. At uh, OCS, this will be most of the time, most of the time you will not be the unit leader, you'll be in the uh, formation and therefore you will not render any salutes. And lastly, you will not salute when it is impractical to do so, let's say if you're carrying uh, a heavy object with both hands. The action of saluting is pretty simple. Your arm should be parallel to the deck and your hand should be canted slightly forward. An easy rule to remember when saluting is that you want your pointer and middle finger to touch the mid-right point on your cover. At OCS, you'll salute officers and you will actually also salute some enlisted Marines while standing on duty. Uh, this is a special circumstance created specifically for uh, OCS as a training environment. At TBS, you'll start receiving salutes from enlisted personnel. So you wanna make sure to keep your right hand free so you can return the salute promptly. Beyond TBS, you'll be doing a lot of saluting because for most bases outside of Quantico, the proportion of enlisted Marines to officers goes way up. I am now confident that you know how and when to wear your various covers and how and when to salute at OCS, TBS, and beyond. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below or direct message me. And as always remember, it is not about you, 